I think like a lot of people, I encountered Milestone for the first time with Static Shock. It was a kid who liked nerdy stuff, like I liked it. I remember when they announced Milestone 2.0, I was like, I gotta be a part of that. We've teamed up with Ally to create the Milestone Summit where people can come and get training in all these different fields. When they announced the initiative, I kind of did it out of like a sense of obligation to like my earlier self. What we want to do is replace us. You know, we want to groom that next generation, come up and do their thing. I was in the process of giving up writing all, all together, but I applied for the Milestone Initiative and I didn't think I was going to get it. You have been selected for the inaugural class of the Milestone Initiative Development Program. I start as a fan. Everyone starts as a fan. I actually did four years in prison, and that was when my love for comic books really shone through. And so when I got out, I was like, well, there got to be a market in a way to kind of tell stories that would appeal to people that seem like they're marginalized or just never seen themselves in comic books. That's something Milestone always did anyway, so I was actually super happy to be part of the initiative. At the end, the goal is to, oh my God, these people are so incredible, we can't let them go from DC. We can't let them go anywhere. They have to stay with us and we have to give them work. First off, who decided we were meeting at nine in the morning? That's what I want to know. <laughs> if a comic had a black woman in it, Milestone, I saw a physical representation of myself. I wanted that. If you want to break out of this 90-10 male, female readership, you have to change the content. You have to engage with new voices and new talent that you wouldn't normally do. Once we started down that path, then progress happened more quickly. I just want to talk about Blood Syndicate. You have Latino members, Korean members, African-American members, transgender, gay. This is just one team. We got a really good class on the history of like DC and inclusion, like masquerade. Like I literally didn't even know that like black trans men like existed and seen another one until like college. This is the greatest comic book company that has ever lived. The information, what it takes to make it in this world, all of this stuff is the stuff that I'm most excited about. Every month, you're gonna put a day on, on the calendar, a time, you're gonna eliminate distractions for two hours, I'm gonna work on, work on my budget. The likelihood that many of these creators will be financially successful is very high. They need to come out of this program not only understanding their craft, but how to manage their money. To teach you as much skills as we can for you to do the craft, but also run your own business. But how do you then take that money you're saving and use it to elevate yourself to where you want to be? As successful as Milestone 1.0 was, if we're going to be true to the spirit of Milestone, we can't be stuck in the 90s. We have to go to wherever the cutting edge is now. Reggie and Dennis have just been dropping gems on us all week. You know, we are in a business that requires teamwork and collaboration, so study it. The point that she's making about, like, women being unprotected and, like, Milestone needing to leave with, like, a woman superhero, I think that's something that we should do. The 100% sincerity of this initiative, you don't come across any program like this, so it's very unique. Like feels an anticipation for the ultimate sacrifice at the final yeah. battle, you know? Milestone kicked off something incredible back in the day. I'm so thrilled to be able to see how that keeps growing, and I'm so honored to be a part of, you know, that change. Don't thank me anymore. I thank you guys for being here. You guys are awesome. I am the artist I am because of every mentor I met. We need to, to believe and that's like not something that comes naturally. So, sorry, I'm getting there. Mentorship can change it. Yeah. I think it's great to have this. You know, minority voices like this specifically is for us, right? It's just like beautiful to see all the work and like the energy and the passion that everybody has.